Shalom, let's uh, praise do to Yahweh Bashem Yashai. Double honors to the apostles of Great Millstone, of whom I learned is truth. Peace and blessings to the whole members of the elect. This is just a lesson in regards to um, Prime Minister Putin. You know, it's his birthday. He, he had his birthday was on the 7th of, uh, of uh, October. And um, he's going to be 70. So uh, this is I'm just going to go into the article. Putin's 70th birthday, a muted affair as Ukraine bursts his balloon. All right, so you know that's what they're saying or whatever. But um, right now, the Russians they're they're doing a lot of damage, man, to that to the um on that to the Ukraine because the Ukraines they're funded by the Americans, right? Because Ukraine was a a Soviet a Soviet um, Union it was a part of the Soviet Union, right? But um, now you know because um, basically uh, when you go into uh, Ezekiel thirty eight, you know it talks about. Gog and Magog. I'll put the I'll put hooks into their jaws. I'll, I'll you know, I'm gonna go into that, and basically, um, you know, they uh, they got power. They basically uh, they got a a corporation or whatever, and uh, and they became even stronger and mightier. All right, and um, there's a lot of history in regards about. The uh, Soviet Union, and so on and so on. But uh, I'm just gonna go in the spirit. Wherever the spirit goes, we're gonna. I'm gonna go. All right. Um, Ex-Soviet ally, unreserved in their praise in the otherwise modest public observation. All right. So. Um, this is his uh, Russian artist, Alexa, like a Russian name, uh, Sarigin, Sariginko, put final touches on his painting. Putin was a Putin with a puppy. Then said dedicated to President Vladimir Putin. Upcoming. Upcoming 70th birthday in St. Petersburg on October the 6th. All right. And, uh, you know, um, the Russians, they're, they're very good people. You know, like they're cool, you know, because they know who the Israelites are, you know, when I, um, you know, when I was watching, uh, when I woke up to the truth, you know, I was watching, um, you know what's his name nate or whatever and he was out there in brooklyn on the highways well um you know i was gravitated to um you know i seen the i seen the other israelites right on the youtube and then i seen uh great millstone i seen or, or not great millstone but you know they were out there and uh, I seen the Hebrew Israelites, they were out there on the 34th over there in Manhattan. And, uh, you know, right by the Times Square area. And they were preaching right there. You know, and they're going in depth, man. They had like all 20, they had like, uh, you know, because they basically, uh, you know, because they had a camera. And they were like, they run it basically like to all 20, 30 uh, clips, you know, or, or not clips, but um, different, uh, you know, it's like a marathon, you know, like they were just going into the scriptures, going very in depth. And, um, you know, from that, man, I started writing down a lot of notes. 
you know, going into pre, you know, writing down, you know, the scriptures, you know, as to who we, are. you know, I was like really, I was, I was like a sponge, man. And then uh, us, our brothers, you know, our, um, you know, I was living, uh, I was living in in Durham at the time, and I was like, you know. I was like amazed, man. I'm like, cause I was like in school. I was like, something's going on. I knew that some shit was going on, but you know, you like, um, you know, I was, I'm not gonna really go in that. But yeah, I was like, I learned a lot, man. And uh, it's lucky. I'm just, you know, it's kind of late. I'm just kind of just. Uh, talking you know but uh yeah man but uh you know but uh great millstone man because um you know because they were always going on you you know they're always going on you know on the on the youtube and and, and they you know they flagged a lot of the videos and whatever so you'd have to find them and then you you know like there was a you know like that's why apostle to her and and the the other apostles they always were uh, making all kinds of videos man you know and then basically um you know like they uh made a channel you know called uh called great millstone you know and it and it really fits right because in revelation it says uh with thus with violence you know, with a a great millstone, Babylon shall be like destroyed. I think Revelation uh, eleven, where it says that thus with violence Babylon shall be destroyed, or whatever. So it's like, so you no. Know, so we're at the end, man. We're you know, and um, we're seeing a, a fall. We're seeing the fall of an empire, man. With uh, I'm gonna read this article. With his seven month invasion un unraveled Putin's celebration of his seventieth birthday on Friday with faming praise from some official but little public fuss that was that that was contrast to just a week ago when he staged a huge concert or no a huge concert on the red square to proclaim the the to proclaim the annexation or or the annex annexation of nearly a fifth of ukraine's land All right putin um i said putin was shown uh, on stage like television meeting leader meeting leaders of other ex-soviet allies at at an informal summit in saint petersburg on friday and and commander slaka and commentators mention his birthday on on in passing right so um you know they're celebrating you know and uh there was a thing yeah i heard this yeah russian or russian orthodox russian orthodox patriarchy russian orthodox patriarchy Kirill, a vocal supporter of the war, led birthday tribute for Putin with prayer of God to grant him health and long life or health and long longevity, longevity and deliver him from all from and deliver him from all the Stuck, yeah. and deliver him from all from all the resi no stuck, yeah. deliver him from all the resistance of visual and 
invisible enemies all right so he he knows all right because they know you know the russian orthodox they're very spiritual you know because they know about the the russian icons all right the saints all right because we were once uh ruled you know russia europe britain spain hungary all over europe croatia all right and uh i was in i was inspired you know by uh, apostle tahar and uh, the other apostles and uh, also uh Pastor Arya and um, you know Pastor Arya, man, you know, and uh, I forgot the other brother, but he kind of he's he kind of fell out the troop, but you know, but basically like they would they would have uh, series, man, just going into the our history, you know, Apostle um, Arya and stuff, man, and um, it was amazing, man. You know, learning, yeah, like, I'm, I'm like, this is the book, I have this book, this is a very good book to buy, you know, $13, $10, some of them you could get even cheaper. You see this one? So he knows, you know. I'm going to save that, it's lucky. Yeah. yeah, man, like, they know who we are and stuff and um this is gonna be the war of our wars man and um you know i have um i worked with uh i, I worked with uh russian you know um i was doing some uh some mar uh, not mar yeah doing some marble work for uh, almost two years with them and they're very cool man <laughs> you know they're very cool i did a lot of big jobs you know going into big uh big uh homes man mansions and stuff mansions and little small jobs too man you know with the marble and um you know and they're russian and they're very uh thing you know what you know there is um there are a lot of israelites over there in russia there is also uh, a lot of edomites right so you know because uh we know that putin or whatever he's probably uh damn uh either my anyways or he's probably one of the dukes of uh esau one of the duke them you go into uh genesis i think 36 about the dukes of edom but other than that you know he's uh he knows what time it is you know and that's why i'm gonna um I'm really gonna, I was gonna go into all the, the meads and stuff. Uh, I was gonna go to Isaiah 13, but first let's go to uh, Daniel. All right, because just like, I wanna just start from Daniel 1. I'm just gonna read the whole book of Daniel. All right, because this, you know, we're gonna see, we're gonna see the fall we're seeing the fall of a of an empire right and uh we know that daniel he's back you know whoever he is and he's back in this in his stead and uh the writings on the wall you know the writings on the wall this kingdom is about to be destroyed then uh the lord yahweh the rock right the rock is coming, you know, and he's going to destroy all these kingdoms, right? See, the head of the gold, head of the gold, all right? What is King Nebuchadnezzar? Okay. And then so on and so on. But the Lord, Yahweh Shai, the rock is going to come. Like, that's why they have that movie, Black Adam. I really have to... Um, I really have to watch that movie, Slakia. Slakia 5, i kind of all over the place. Like I'm about to go back, I'm going to go into scriptures. You know, but Black Adam. I 
are really gonna watch out yeah because um this is spiritual day no man the time it is you know and like Dwayne Johnson he's a Judite you know from uh from Nova Scotia and uh yeah man I gotta uh gotta check it out I'm gonna watch it out I'm gonna check this out later the rock I'm gonna watch it out uh, um I'm gonna watch it I'm gonna watch it sometime this weekend because it's Thanksgiving here in uh, Canada but uh, right now we're seeing the fall of the Empire right? and uh, the rock the kingdom of Yahweh the kingdom of Yahweh Shai the Sun all right is coming you know to come proclaim his kingdom all right and um, I'm gonna just go through the whole chapter and if the spirit permits Daniel 5, Daniel 5 and 1 Belshazzar the king made a great feast to a thousand of his lords and drank wine before and drank wine before thousands All right so we know that Belshazzar you know he uh his father was king nebuchadnezzar you know and uh the lord you know he uh you know because they were you know because they stole our our riches our you know our uh, our things out of our temple all right and um you know and you know and basically uh you know um, like we went into captivity you know and we went into um and we went into the bob and we went into babylon which would be like a rack in that in those regions right and um yeah we went up went there whatever and um nebuchadnezzar you know he tried to do a lot of things he tried to exalt himself like he's god he passed a lot of decrees and the Lord judged him, man. You know, you know, they tried to basically uh, throw Daniel to the lions, you know, him and uh, three other brothers, you know, and um, the Lord was with them. You know, we know that we know that, that we know that Yahweh Shai was there who was like who was protecting him because, you know, because they tried to burn him, all kinds of things, man. So it just shows you that we have the spiritual power, all right? And these people are scared, man. When you watch that, when you watch, um, I was watching a, a documentary about uh, Simeon Taco, or Toko. He's a he's a Congo. He's from Congo, but um, he did a lot of miracles, man. And and they and they try to kill him. They try to you know grind him and do all kinds of things and, and he was still uh you know he he always came back you know within a couple of uh, like uh within basically a couple hours a couple minutes and stuff you know like they were trying to do all kinds of things to him and you watch that um if you go into that it's called his name is simeon toko it's a congolese or uh, a bantu man Right, and we know that uh, he was doing a lot of miracles. I believe uh, this guy, he definitely he was an angel. You know, and uh, you know, and he was doing a lot of miracles, and he he and he had a lot of he had power, and he had a lot of angels with him. You know, um, if you watch that, if you watch that little thing on youtube or on uh tiktok or instagram you could uh you could find out his name is simeon toko or all right and uh yeah you know and we're and we're going back into that man that great power man you know because you know as long as we're doing the thing with as long as we're doing the right righteous thing you know following 
our father, our Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, you know, you know, and uh, following his laws and stuff, man, the Mosai is going to, he's going to, he's going to be with, he's going to be there with us, man. All right. Well, I'm going to continue, Salak, yeah. I said, Belshazzar, well, he tasted the wine. Yeah, because we know that Belshazzar, after Nebuchadnezzar died, whatever, his son took over. All right. It says, Belshazzar, while he tasted the wine, commanded to bring the golden and silver vessel, which is the father of Nebuchadnezzar, had taken out of the temple which was in jerusalem that the king and his prince and his wife and his concubines might drink therein right so he they took all of our temples i mean you know on slaga these people took all of our vessels you know in the you know um from the temple with the, the silver the gold you know the brass they, they you know they took all of our like all of our like all of our substance man you know you know and they're doing all kinds of things you know that worship you know they took our they took the holy people's vessels man they took our vessels you know and they were doing all kinds of things you know and they're drinking and they're using our vessels and they're drinking wine and they're worshiping their gods so bro so the man so when the lord's gonna come man you know because these people be robbed and cheated our, our people man of our wealth not know who they, we are you know where you know you know like you know like we don't even know to, like bro the most high is gonna restore us man because we were everything that we we, we were this is a people robbed and spoiled man then they brought the golden vessel that were taken out of the temple of the house of yahweh which was at jerusalem and the kings and his princes and his wives and his concubines drank in the in them they drank wine and praised the gods of the gold and, the, and of the silver and of brass and of iron and of wood and of stone. And in that same hour, and in the same hour, forth, the finger of, the, of man's hand wrote over against the candlesticks upon the place of all the wall of the king's palace and the king saw the part of the hand that wrote then the, the king's countenance was changed all right so he saw he saw that he's you know he, you know they were at a, a banquet whatever and they're celebrating whatever and then they see an the appearance of a uh, they, you know, the most I sent I is, you know, whether it's Yahweh Shai or the most I sent a, a messenger, angel, to, to basically, to, that basically go on the wall, and what well, is, you know, but you know, but the Lord, but the Lord sent an angel, but you know, whether what the angel wasn't there, he was like invisible, and. And he basically, uh, whether it's a, it's a, it's a mystery, you know, you know, but the Lord did a spiritual, like a spiritual, it's like a, like a miraculous work or whatever. And, um, Belteshazzar and, uh, uh, and the Chaldeans and all of them, you know, uh, like they didn't know what the hell it was. Uh, and the only person who, who 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 like the only person who could figure out the interpretation was Daniel, the prophet Daniel. And in the self same hour, forth fingers slaka. In the self same hour, came forth 
the fingers of a man's hot hands and wrote over against the candlesticks upon the like the plasters of the walls of the king's palace and the king saw that saw the part of the hand that wrote then the king's countenance was changed and his thoughts troubled him and so that the joints of his loins were loose and his knees smote on smote one against another so you see this was this king right who thought he was on high or whatever the most i the most i put fear and tremble all right and the same thing gonna happen again man you know even these people who like to watch and swat, who, 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 who want to watch our steps and whatever and you know with all the different agencies and these spies and all these all the different agencies that do all kind of stuff I pray Yahweh Bashem Yashai, Yahweh Bashem Yashai, Shalak Rayam, to all you spies, you damn, you damn, um, you damn private agencies, you these people, man, who's in high and high and high power, that you guys have nightmares at night, man. All right, if you're not already having them, you know, and I pray that the most I judge a lot of these people who just who just try to track our steps i pray i'll wash and i'll share you the, the most i just bring a lot of a lot of calamities and a lot of dreams a lot, a lot of bad nightmares into your life you know then the king's countenance was changed and his tro and his thoughts troubled him so that the joints of his loins were loose and his knees smote one against another. The king cried aloud to bring in the astrologers, the ch um, it said the Chaldeans and the so the soothsayers, right? And are, you know, and like these people, that's what they're doing, right? A miracle is is nothing but witchcraft, man. You know, a lot of stuff, man. Especially now, man, there's it's even, you know, this social media and stuff. They're talking about, like, their witchcraft and, you know, they're pushing it out there. And uh, the algorithm is just beer witchcraft. And also, you have to be careful of uh, things that you speak, kind of, you kind of see on the internet. Like, you really have to be careful because we're, 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 like, we're in the matrix, man. So we got to be, uh... You know like have the armor because uh you know we're always get we're getting attacked we said we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities right against spiritual wickedness in high places right so whether it's in the uh, court in the high court you know you know uh these uh these witches warlocks you know and in, in the high the highest level you know to the minute level you know is this place is nothing but witch witchcraft this place is isaiah 47 right come down and sit down in the dust right isaiah 47 all right but i'm going to continue um then the king countenance was changed and his truck and his thoughts troubled him so that they joints of his loins were loose and his knees smote one against another the king cried aloud to bring the astrologers and the chaldeans and the soothsayers and they <laughs> and the king spake and said to the wise men of the babylon whosoever shall read this writ this right writ Whosoever readeth this writing, and show me these interpretation of thereof, shall be clothed with scarlet and rave, and have a chain of gold about his neck, and shall be third ruler in the kingdom. All right, so you know, so these uh, Chaldean, these these with these warlock, these soothsayers, and whatever. 
you know like they're trying to figure out what what that the hand you know th 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 that that was on the wall as to what it was you know and none of them couldn't figure it out the only person to figure it out was daniel then came in all the king's wise men but they could not read the writing nor make known the king the interpretation thereof the king was king belshazzar greatly troubled and his countenance was changed in him and his lord were astonished now the queen by reason of the word of the king and his lords came into the banquet house and the queen spake and said o king live forever let not thy thoughts trouble thee nor let thy countenance be changed right so he was shitting bricks he didn't know what was going on but he knew that his kingdom is about to fall therefore is a man therefore it's like a, there is a man in the kingdom in whom is the spirit of the holy gods and in the days of thy father light and understanding and wisdom and light the wisdom of the gods whom found in him whom the king nebuchadnezzar their father the king i saw the fa thy father made master of the other of the magician astrologers chaldean and soothsayers right so these people right now right you know or you know when daniel you know because daniel he was above all of them man and we're and, and we're and we're spiritually daniel right you know danya allah right mean that yahweh was my judge right and uh we're gonna judge these nations man you know all these damn warlocks and witches man all these spells that they spell that they cast on people you know all these stuff man what they do man you know we're gonna be above you know like we're gonna be above man when like we're like we're gonna be the principalities on the right hand side man and we're gonna shake we're gonna shake up you damn wicked heathen man right, and the two-thirds of our people for as much as an excellent spirit and knowledge and understanding interpretation of dreams and showing a hard sentence and and dissolving of doubts were found in the same daniel whom the king namely belteshazzar now let daniel be called and he will show the interpretation so they had to call daniel man and that's what they're gonna do you know when all hell break loose you know like they're gonna want to go to the you know like to the to the saints you know to the israelites you know and they're you know and the number one people who's gonna be uh interpreting certain things is gonna be great most of the prophets all right and we're the you know like we're the forerunners of uh of this truth the great millstone you know there is a lot of there's other camps you know who t who teach the same doctrine you know who have the same spirit you know and yeah then then was the daniel brought in before the king and the king spake and said unto daniel art thou that daniel which are the children of the captivity of judah whom the king my father brought out of, Ju of the jewry all right so out the house of judah right and um jewry right so we know that the jews you know jewelry is referring to judah man the house of judah man you know the israelites you know you know because we love jewelry man. we love our gold our silver we like shiny thing that bling bling man you know and we're gonna get all that and plus more you know 
you know, but the most I punished us too, right? Because we're doing a lot, you know, we're hypocrites. But these um ultimately too, you know, this is uh this is the most size story too. You know, because every time we disobey the Heavenly Father the most I would send these heathen, you know, to jack our ass up. I have ever heard I have ever it's like I have even heard of the that the spirit of the gods is in thee and the light and understanding and excellent wisdom is found in thee and now the w w wise men the astrologers have been brought in brought in before me that they should not it's like it, that they should read this writing and make known unto me the interpretation thereof but they could not show me the interpretation of the thing gonna speed it up and i have heard of thee that thou can't can't make the interpretation and and dissolve doubts now if thou cannot read the writing and make known to me the interpretation thereof thou shalt be clothed with scarlet and have a chain of gold and about thy neck and should be the third ruler in the kingdom then daniel answered and said before the king let thy gifts be to thyself so yeah you could keep that we don't need that all right that we do it for free all right because um you know because the lord you know that when the lord was on the scene yahweh shai he said um he's like he said buy the truth sell it not so so we're gonna have that same spirit man like i don't care how much money you're gonna give me or whatever you know like we, you know like when the lord comes man like we're gonna take the whole pie we're gonna take you know it says the meek shall inherit the earth man all right so i'd rather just be meek i don't give a shit about nothing right now except that you know the lord just gave me my daily bread i don't give a motherfuck. then daniel answered and said before the king let thy gifts be to thyself and give thy reward to another yet i will read the writing unto the king and make known to him the interpretation O, O thou king the most high power gave no nebuchadnezzar thy father a kingdom and majesty and glory and honor and for the mighty that he gave him all people nations and languages trembled and feared before thee whom he would he slew and of whom he would he kept alive and of whom he would set up and of whom he would be put down all right so th this guy was uh th this guy was a damn tyrant man all right and he wanted to be like he's got you know all right but the lord had to had to humble him all right but when his heart was lifted up and his mind hardened in pride all right pride go before destruction he was he was deposed from his kingly throne and they looked him and they they took his glory from him and he was driven from the sons of men and his heart was made like the beast all right so the most i plagued nebuchadnezzar man all right because he's lifted up man he you know and he was doing a lot of wickedness man want to be like he's god so the most i had to humble humble his ass right and, and like, that's what the lord said in um sirach or ecclesiasticus he said give me any plague of the heart and any wickedness of the mind and it says like to give me no it said to give me the it said give me not the plague of the mind nor the wickedness of a wicked woman all right 
because when you because when you when your mind play we're in the lab all right when the hebrew lab which means your mind when your heart when your mind plague man that's a serious plague bro that's a serious demon man all right and I'm, i i tell you man like you don't want to get like you don't want to like you don't want to get that type of plague man of that mind all right all right you know so you want to just stay on the straight and narrow try the thing because you know because there's you know there's uh you know read uh ephesians 6 and 10 right there's spiritual wickedness in high places a lot of witches warlocks you know soothsayers enchanters sorcerers murder you know a lot of those things man so you gotta you gotta be aware always stay in prayer you know um have you know you know like the word is our fortress our shield our buckler all right so these these you know these people who do all these sorcery and witchcraft and all that as long as we're doing whatever the most side is with us man all right there's no enchantment against jacob and he was driven from the sons of men and his heart was made like the beast and his dwelling was with the <laughs> with the wild asses they fed fed him with the grasses like oxen and his body was wet with the dew of heaven all right so he, he he went into like cold sweats he was like a beast bro till he known till he know that the most high power ruleth in the kingdom of men that he appointed over it and to whomsoever he she choose right so the most high he he's the one who set up up kingdoms man all right and i'm gonna um go back to this all right because the, the most side the one who sets up kingdoms man as to who's gonna be in rulership and who's not and now uh, this is the lord's show all right and it's already it was written it was written this was already written i think this is psalm 78 this is psalm 70 okay I can't find it. I think I know it's a uh, Psalm seventy some odd. King. I think it's Psalm seventy. Slakia. Slakia. Akia. Akium. Slakia. Kingdom of men. Okay, I can't find it, but I'm gonna go back to Daniel. It's kinda late. Gonna Yeah, so it says uh and I have heard of thee that thou canst make an interpretation. Yeah, Daniel 5 and, um, hold on, so I can give her, yeah, yeah, so let's talk at, four, stop at 14, and I have, uh, even, I have even heard of the, that the spirit of them, I already read this, so, uh, Think 19 and for the majesty that he gave him all people and nations should uh thing that's not gonna be thing 21 and he was driven from the sons of men and his heart was made like beasts and his dwelling with wild asses and they fed him with grasses like oxen and his body was wet with the dew of heaven till he know that the most high the most high power ruleth in the kingdom of man so this is your kingdom man 
We say Yahweh, the Father, right? Yahweh means He is, He is Savior. Allah Shaddai, the Power Almighty, God Almighty, and then Yahweh and then Yahweh He is Savior, and that He appointed over it whosoever He wants. So the Most High, the Most, this is the Most High show, man. All right, like you can't, you like you can't stop this thing, man. All right, the Most High is the is the is the like is the director. He's like he's the finisher. He's the he's the he's the He's the author. He's you know, and thou, his son, O Belteshazzar, hast not humbled thine heart, that thou knewest all this, but hast lifted up thyself against the Lord of heaven, and they have brought the vessels of his house before thee and thou and thy lord thy wife thy concubine and have drunken wine in them and have poured praise to the gods of the silver and of gold and of brass and of iron and of wood and of iron of stones which she not which seeth not nor heareth nor knoweth and the gods in whose hands thy breath is and whose all the thy ways hast thou not glorified all right so these you know these other nations they're they're, they're worshiping all kind of gods man they do not you know and they stole our rich you know this you know first and foremost you know when we're in babylon captivity like they stole all of our our resources man you know and the damn uh the fifth colonists were the damn Edomites, man. You know, who uh, who like who rounded us up? You know, they stole our heritage. You know, they stole our 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 vessels, man. You know, and Esau was like the damn taskmaster over there in the in the land of Idumea, man. You know, like when we were falling, man. You know, because when King David was in when he, when King David kingdom when he was in power, man, like he like he had the Edomites in garrisons, man, and like that's why that they you know and like that's why like they have us in the ghettos and the fahillas, the garrisons of of the West Indies, shit, man, in the ghetto, you know, anywhere our people are, man. The damn, you know, unlike the cities over there in India, you know, the untouchables, you know, we're at the low. Then was the part of the hands sent from him. This is the writing written, and his name was the writing that was written. Many, many tekel. Upar upharish. All right, and then it says, "This is the interpretation of the thing." Many, God have numbered the, thy kingdom, and it is finished. So this kingdom, this is you know, you see like you see when the Lord says, "You know what? This kingdom is done," or whatever, it's done. All right, and Yahweh Shai, the angels is gonna come, and they're gonna and they're gonna execute vengeance, man. And then this, uh, this is all Yahweh Shai's kingdom, you know, and then, um, you know, King David, the 12th, and then um, the 144,000, man, who's going to come, and that's going to rule this earth in righteousness, man. So basically, uh, Mene, which would be, uh, let me go into that, Mana. Mane, which means a weight, a measure, usually a uh, fifty, but may maybe sixty shekels, you know, of silver. All right. All right. And shekels is really silver, right? Like in, um, like not the people over there in the state of Israel, right? That have the shekel currency. Right. Even though they got all the shekels, they got all the money, they got all the shekels, the sweatsas. They got all the, all the, giddies, all the chickies, 
of the chicken head, chicken, chick, chicky, chickies. They got all that. They're living fat, man. And then it says to Kel, uh, thou art weighed in the balance and art found wanted. It says, it says, Paris, thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians, right? So the Mosai, you know, yeah, I was shy, man. He, 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 like, he used Daniel, you know, and uh, interpreted the dream. And, um, you know, you know, once he, once they, you know, once he interpreted the dream to Belteshazzar, whatever, the kingdom. You know, his kingdom fell, you know, on that the Babylonian kingdom fell that same night. Then the commandment, then commander, says, then the commandment, Belteshazzar and thy clothing, Daniel, with sackcloth and put a chain of gold about his neck and made a, like, made a proclamation concerning him that he should be the third ruler in the in the kingdom in that night was Belteshazzar the king of Chaldean slain and Daniel the Midianite or Slaka Daniel Slaka and Slaka and Darius and there's the Midianite Slaka and Darius like the Midian Right, which would be uh, the Iranians, right? The boar. There is the, there is the, the Median, right? Which uh, kings, there in the Median, took the kingdom. It says it says being about three score. And two years old, right? So sixty, right? And um, you know, like Daniel, you know, he basically uh, after. You know, basically, um, he interpreted the dream to uh, Belteshazzar. Yeah, he got his clothes. He got the clothing. He got his chain. He got a lot of his. He got a lot of. He got a lot of power. He got a lot of pump. He got a lot of thing. Yeah, right. And um, yeah, you know, and um, we're seeing the fall of an empire. You know, when you read Daniel uh, 2, Daniel 9, you know, I gotta, uh, me, myself, I got to go back into that, sure, go back to Daniel's and read that, you know, about Daniel and uh, go back into the history. Because that's what it's all about, it's just uh, repetition, you know, pray and uh, edify, man, right? Because we're basically... Uh, we're basically uh we're forecasting and we're uh we're on the stock exchange right we're basically uh right now our stocks is going up high high to the sky high to the heaven man high to the fa the father right? and our stocks are going high so we got to keep our stocks up you know keep the our stocks uh running you know because basically uh you know, even you know, if you also our people, some of our brothers, no certain certain brothers too, man. Within our camp, we gotta do more videos, man. If you're not really doing videos, you, you know, you, you got to, man. Cause if you don't, your stocks is gonna be very low, and the most I could just spew you out out of his mouth, or like you're you know, like so, like you don't want to get spewed out. Of the month because the Lord he doesn't he like he doesn't want that so we got to keep our stocks high you know because that's what it's all about all right and um yeah it's luck yeah we're seeing a lot of things a lot of signs and um yeah so this is a uh, national post again you know um vladimir putin 
Um, this article is a good uh, article. Putin's 70th birthday a uh, mute affair as Ukraine bursts his balloon. Alright, so yeah. So yeah, right now, like, damn, Ukraine's being damn broken. Broken down, man. And, um, says so the billionaire. Hold on. Um, stock, yeah, cause reading about, let me go back into the stock, yeah. Yeah, so it says, it says, it said Belarus President Alexander Lukashenko gave his Russian counterpart Vladimir Putin a tractor as a gift for his 70th birthday, while electromagnetic bill pools, Slakia. Billboards congratulate Putin's appreciated Slakia appeared in a Serbian capital, Belgrade. All right, and um, Lukashenko, President Putin, with a gift, with a gift certificate for a vehicle vehicle as the leader of the several ex-soviet nations met at the zesaris era constantine palace in saint saint petersburg on friday it wasn't clear how the russian leader respond to the gift which Lukashenko official number. Putin did didn't mention the gift in uh, the television remark at the start of the meeting when he was about to need to to discuss ways of setting conflict between ex-soviet nations so that's what's going on right now all right and you know that ukraine right now they're basically they're signing with the americans and um you know and that's why there's gonna be a lot more intention a lot more tension and um this is a very good article to read this article is about uh Putin's 70th birthday um, muted affair as Ukraine bursts his balloon. Ex-Soviet allies unreserved in their praise in an otherwise modest public observation. So this is a very good, uh, a good, a good uh, read, you know, a good uh, article, National Post. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna just uh, so look here. one second. Yeah, so this is the Iranian supplied suicide drone being used by Russian against Ukraine, right? That's what's going on. And um, right now, everybody right now has a damn drone right so imagine what these damn uh armies have man you know that they have technology that's well over that's well after their time man and um so we got to be prepared pre you know be staying in prayer all right because uh, they're you know so the their enemies you know some in the psalm stuck a uh, ephesians 6 and 10 we gotta uh stay in prayer man and uh you know, have the Lord as our fortress, as our armor, right? Because uh, there is a lot of uh, wiles and st of the devil, man. Those, it says the devil, you know, 
he be he seeking whom he made the whom he, the devil seeking whom he may whom he made the uh, whom he may um the devil was seeing seeing slacker slacker i'm getting tired too but yeah the devil's out there man the devil's on the loose man on a rampage you know so with that it says uh iranians Iranian supplies suicide drone being used by Russian against Ukraine. All right, and uh, yeah, this uh, this is just for educational purposes. And let's go. <laughs> We can trace their origins back to the use of the V-1 and V-2 rockets in the Second World War, which operate on similar principles. The propulsion has changed slightly. The use of technology has been incorporated to make them more effective and more accurate. So why is the Shahed 136 being used increasingly by Russia against Ukraine? I think what we're seeing is that the Russians are finding the airspace increasingly contested over Ukraine through the use of ground-based air defense uh, systems such as ram pads. Uh, electronic warfare is also being used to detect and to, to destroy um, assets such as fast jets. This is a lighter, smaller, harder to target asset that then makes it more effective on the battlefield and allows the Russians to at least contest the control of the air and perhaps conduct some uh, uh, ground attack at the same time. It's a relatively low cost asset to produce and to purchase if you're not producing it yourself as a nation state. Yeah, man. So, you know, Esau, they, they have their blessing, man. And, um, you know, we know that the Germans, you know, which would be the Timans, right? they're very skilled. They have a lot of knowledge. And that was a gift, right? You know, to. Uh, you know, when you go into Tubal Cain, you know, these are the same people, the team, man. You know, um, like Tubal Cain, that's the same spirit. He has, you know, that's the same people coming back. And uh, eventually I want to, I'm doing some research about, about the team, man, you know, going into the scriptures and uh, yeah. So let's continue. Its propulsion is largely uh, propeller based, so again, relatively cheap, relatively robust. It can take large amounts of damage in the field. It's light, it's difficult to target from the ground and from the air due to its size. And so it has more of an effect than perhaps a fast jet that's a, an easier asset to target through ground based air defense systems. Some of the weaknesses that we can see in this, uh, in sort of loitering munitions, are the payloads that it carries. It's between five and 30 kilograms. So so its destructive effect is limited in what it can do and what it can achieve. And so how much of a threat does the, the Shahed 136 pose to Ukraine? It can cause destruction, it can cause confusion, it can attack cities, it can attack towns, it can attack formations. But its effect is going to be, I think, rather limited in terms of the actual um, destruction it does and its ability to turn the tide of the war, which appears to be shifting in the Ukrainians' favour after their recent counterattacks. And so what can Ukraine do? Um, increase yeah, so we know that everything that we're... Um everything right now this is all biblical time this is uh you know this is over almost three thousand years ago basically um you know this book was written by the prophet ezekiel all right and he, he was in the babylonian captivity you know and basically um you know we're like we're living these things now all right, Ezekiel 39 and 1. Then, um, just because you could read it, whatever, Ezekiel 39 and 1 um, goes into the in depth, you know, it's a lot of history. I'm kind of exhausted, but yeah. Increasingly to protect itself against them. And what can um, other countries helping, like the UK, what can we provide to help? defend against these. 
Again, I think uh, man pads, ground-based air defense systems are essential in targeting these. Um, but there are other ways of doing it. GPS technology has been incorporated into these to allow it to navigate and to attack effectively. If you can conduct electronic warfare oper operations, jamming the, the GPS signal, it gets lost very easily. It then becomes almost redundant as an asset. So I think those are the two areas that the West, if they're going to target this particular asset, are going to look to. It's going to be the ground-based air defence systems, perhaps even short-range air defence systems from the ground rather than handheld air defence systems and jamming the GPS signals. Yeah, man, this is going to be the war of our worst. All right, and um, it is going to get intense, man. All right, and we know that the Lord's coming with a big fathership. No second Ezra's thirteen. I could read about it. So I got a thirteen, the whole chapter. All right, and uh, you know, this is gonna be the war of all wars to end all wars. All right, and we're um, it's gonna be. It's going to be a great destruction and there are going to be billions of people that's going to perish, man. You know, from this World War Three, man. Because there's going to be a lot of army. There's going to be a lot of there's going to be a lot of uh, wars and stuff as the Lord's coming, man. And there's going to be a great destruction. In one hour, this place is going to be totally destroyed, man. America and wherever else is going to get affected, man, um, throughout the world. All right. So with that, let's see all praise due to Yahweh Bashim El Shai, the one the apostle of Great Millstone. Peace and bless the whole members of the elect. Hopefully, this video is edifying. And uh, till next time, Shalom. Other than handheld air defense systems and jamming the GPS signals. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget.